last night, about two in the morning, we came round the top of Timor and came out where all the currents come rushing up. And it was really bouncing. Boom, boom, boom. So it's going to be like this most of the way for the next two and a half days now. So uh, well, two or three days. Yeah, getting worse probably with the weather report. Mungo's been sleeping, not feeling very well, Mungo. And our ghost is still here, non-stop. No, no, I'm going to have to stop now. Uh, it's making me feel sick down here. So, um, sorry about that, guys. And we've got uh, something like 204 miles to go. I just wish I was somewhere else right now, actually. <laughs> a week on a boat going four knots. You can walk faster than that. And that's how fast they've been going for a week. Slower than you can walk. When we do see land, I'll be bloody grateful. And I think I might just try and make love to it. And I might just try, I might just have that as my first meal, just on Earth. And then promise not to leave on a small boat for a while. It's just amazing how we come into calm water and it just completely changes the whole atmosphere of the boat. Everyone's relaxed. Engines off, we're under sail, there's no. Australia! <laughs> no, it's actually an island off Australia, it's not quite Australia, but it is Australian. Hi guys! Hey, Ross. How are you? Yeah, it's pretty rough. Have a good time? Yeah, I've just been waiting for reports of you all the time. Absolutely are delighted you? to be here. We had sort of three days of really, really bad weather. Jeez. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh. Ross! Yes. <laughs> It's brilliant that all three of us are back together again. I think we just needed a few days apart. We were just getting on each other's nerves, which is probably understandable after about three months. But it's, you know, it's great fun to be back on the road again. That's another Wicked van! See that? Wicked take old vans and do them up. Each one has a unique paint job, which hides all the dents and scratches. We are going to drive to Alice Springs. We've got two days to get there, and it's about 900 miles. We've got Ollie in the back. Anne's gone back to London today with the tapes, which we film with, and someone has to take them physically in their hand. Definitely diesel. Yeah, it says it. it says yeah. it on. I know, I'm just double checking. Oh, I'm going to be here for an hour. Darwin, Alice Springs, and we're here. <laughs> Look at that road train. Look at that beast. Enormous, isn't it? Look at it. Crazy. Australian road trains are massive, pulling up to three trailers. But there's nothing to the size of their trains. Stop and ask these campers. Should have stopped and ask these campers, yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at 
night, guys. You don't have any diesel on you, do you? Oh, that'd be great. And obviously, we'll pay you, you know, top dollar. You can rip us off. <laughs> oh, you are a star. Oh, ten liters. You are fantastic. Look at we'll that. Double. <laughs> no, you don't. Don't offer double. Oh, Isn't that sound good? Ah, oh, the sound of diesel, eh? The liquid. Actually, he's going to make a mistake. This is actually the water. <laughs> can you imagine? She was a good idea, but... You know, petrol engine, you can just run out. Yeah. But with diesel... You've got to get the air out of oh. it. Undo an injector and all, mate. It's just not worth it. No. Oh, I thank you so much. I'm so glad okay. you're prepared. Look at that needle. Kev, he's a lovely guy. Do you think it was bad of me offering... asking for change? <laughs> It looks wicked, this place, doesn't it? We ended up down at a place called Daily Waters, and it's the cutest, bizarrest, weirdest little place you've ever seen. It's had a petrol pump on one side and a sign building place beside that, and then the other side is the pub. And you go inside, and there's hundreds of notes from all over the world hanging on the walls, and hundreds of bras all hanging up on the wall where people have signed them. It must have been quite drunk to get all these off. It's one of those real sort of eclectic kind of places, which I just love. What a cool place. Yeah, it's amazing. Hey, where have you come from? Oh, Charlie. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, good to see you. Grand, mate. Good Where's good the meeting, guys? <laughs> How are you? All right. Yeah. You're just up with a little jolly, then, are you? Well, we're doing a lap round Australia. A lap round Australia? A lap round Australia. Long, long way round Australia, it's called. <laughs> How long's your trip? Three months. Three months? Cool. Yeah. Well, it's about four weeks uh, today. We left Canberra. Oh, fantastic. You're just, just settling in. Yep, yep. But very much a sore bum. Oh, God. Well, that, that, that goes oh. away after a yeah. while. Hey. I met this guy on the bike, and it turns out there were four of them travelling together. The four of them had been friends for 40 years, and they went to school together. About five years ago, Steve there was saying, what we need to do, when we've got time, when we retire, let's get on and do a trip around Australia. And well, the rest is history, basically. We decided to um, just do exactly that. We, no plan, no rules. No rules. No rules. It's called Yeah, so, so you four uh, in here. One, two, two, three. three. There That's you are. in there. Yeah, have a look. Oh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> and there they were. They'd finally got together. It's been three and a half months riding around Australia. And um, they were just having a whale of a time. Uh, <laughs> OK, let's go then, guys. Just before we leave, there's an old US air base up here for the Second World War. They used to get the bombers in and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the guys we met last night, they're going to take us up the airstrip. Well, look at this. Must have been a hive of activity when it was in its heyday. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, that's a big, big runway, that. It looks like sort of... Somewhere in Heathrow Airport size. You can imagine all the big planes, couldn't you? All taxiing up side by side, taking off multiple runs. Amazing. <laughs> Bomber Borman. Just getting ready to taxi now. I found out that there were a couple of guys missing from this old school gang. One couldn't come because he was in hospital with leukemia and was about to have a bone marrow transplant. Hi, it's um, Charlie Borman here. And uh, I'd bumped into your mates last night, and they were talking about you and slagging you off, which is just, you know, I thought it was a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I th thought I'd just ring to say hello and, 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 and to wish you good luck on the 16th. Brilliant, Brilliant guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks yeah. again. <laughs> what a cool bunch of guys, eh? Having a laugh. I'm so jealous. So, out of springs, and that little bit closer to Ollie. In the back, mate. Oh, no, no, not that, Ollie. We don't talk about that. No, we don't, Russ. Russ, well, the, we promised that when we had the foursome that we wouldn't mention it on television. <laughs> you know, jeez, what do people think? We just cruised all day, just cruised, cruised, cruised all day through this amazing Australian outback.
We've driven 900 miles from Darwin to Alice Springs, which is pretty much the geographical centre of Australia. We are just about to meet up with uh, these three Australian guys who are going to take us out in the outback and we're going to have a couple of days sleeping um, under the stars. Apparently, between the three of them, they've got 450 years of experience of outback. <laughs> Come on in. Is this where the, um, where the camel race was? was yesterday. Ah. We're supposed to be doing this camel race, but because we took too long on the boat, we, we, there's just no way we could make it down in time. So we went and met the guy and um, went to have a look at some camels. Oh, there he is. There I can is. see him already. The camel king of Australia. This guy is a dead bloody legend. Is he? <laughs> We managed to get a little sort of mock-up race going, and we leapt up, and he just turned round and then just headed.